Methotrexate has long been used as a standard of care to treat psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Typically in dosages between 7.5 to 25 mg a week at a single weekly dose or three divided doses separated by 12 hours every week. Various routes of administration exist for methotrexate and psoriasis treatment. Oral, intravenous, subcutaneous, and intramuscular. The most commonly used route is oral, which is a first-line traditional systemic therapy that has been used for decades for psoriasis. Even though subcutaneous methotrexate has been more extensively studied in the context of rheumatoid arthritis, there has been a paucity of studies for understanding its application as a treatment in psoriasis. So the aim of our article was to conduct a literature review of the research related to the safety, efficacy, and patient acceptability of subcutaneous methotrexate in the treatment of severe recalcitrant psoriasis. For our methods, systematic literature searches were conducted on PubMed, Ovid, and clinical trials databases. Due to the limited literature published for the use of subcutaneous methotrexate in psoriasis, the search was extended to relevant studies on rheumatoid arthritis patients. Otrexup and Resuvo are two particular single-use auto-injector modalities of subcutaneous methotrexate that are approved by the United States FDA for severe recalcitrant psoriasis. The equivalents of Resuvo available in countries outside of the United States are advertised as Medoject or Medex. Readers will see that for our results, only three relevant sources were found studying subcutaneous methotrexate, specifically in the context of psoriasis, a phase one clinical trial and two reviews. In our article, we further discussed the results from literature on subcutaneous methotrexate that was studied in rheumatoid arthritis patients that may be relevant to the psoriasis population. As readers will see, our article re-emphasizes the potential benefits of subcutaneous methotrexate that have been studied more extensively in rheumatoid arthritis. Subcutaneous methotrexate could be the bridge between the insufficient response to oral methotrexate before attempting the more expensive biologic therapies. However, readers will see that there is a lack of original evidence-based studies evaluating the use of subcutaneous methotrexate specifically for the treatment of psoriasis. Our article proposes various studies to help address the research gaps in our understanding of the utilization of subcutaneous methotrexate for the treatment of psoriasis. These include long-term trials, efficacy and safety evaluations after switching from oral methotrexate, head-to-head -head comparisons with oral methotrexate and biologics, trials of subcutaneous methotrexate as a monotherapy or in combination with other therapies, quality of life studies, and further cost-efficacy analyses.